everybody. Welcome to Movie Lives. We're very happy to have you here with us today. Go ahead and take a minute to like, share, subscribe, all those thingy majiggies that you can do. Get more people here watching with us so they can help give us words for our scenes as we go. If you've never seen Movie Lives before, uh, you're in luck because uh, we've got, as of right now, 150 episodes that you can check out at your leisure. Uh, we are a show that takes scenes from famous movies. We pull words out of those scenes, and you all give us new words to plug into those scenes, thus making an entirely new movie for your entertainment. Uh, tonight we are doing box office bombs, movies that just lost so much money. So, so much money. It's gross. Uh, and yeah, we're going to talk about them and we're going to make scenes making fun of them. And yeah, that's what we're going to do tonight. Uh, but first we got to check out our gorgeous cast. You'll notice one face isn't here because he's a big doo-doo head. Just kidding. I love you, Marco. No, we don't. Uh, <laughs> Dave, do you have top? What? <laughs> How you doing? Oh, good. I'm good. Hello. <laughs> good. We're all super awake today that's good <laughs> uh, stacy how you doing i mean back on the bottom you know what are you gonna do started from the bottom went to the top uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it happens yeah no like f you guys i'm taking the top yeah sure <laughs> make me larger <laughs> right i just, I just wanted yeah. to better fill the space since marco's not here to make it even yeah yeah my comments finally loaded on my phone with my slow internet, so I'm commenting. So this is super professional. Tina, yeah. how are you? Um, here, I'm good. It's April. I love it. It is. It's a beautiful it day is. outside today. Agreed. It's gorgeous. I have my windows open. <laughs> it's shiny. I'm going to share this now as I asked you all to do. Again, super professional. Movie lips time. Film outside. I should have done while we were loading, but my internet is trash. Okay. So again, what we do for our first scene is we ask for words ahead of time. We do this on the facey book, uh, some sort of image kind of like this. Uh, you all gave us words for that scene. Thank you to those wonderful people who did that. Uh, you gave us things like soapy and glittery and unicorn. And we're going to use those words in our first scene for our later scenes. We will ask for the words live and you'll type, you type them in as we go. Um, okay, so let's dive into this thing, I say. Yeah. So says I. Uh, so as I said, this is our 150th episode, and because I keep charts that don't really need to be kept, I'm going to tell you about how much stuff we've done over those 150 episodes. <laughs> uh, so we have done 537 different movie scenes and 77 mm -hmm different TV show scenes, and a few other random stuff that brings us to a grand total of 622 or 21 original scenes and 138 rerun scenes, and a total of 759 movie Mad Libs that we have done over these 150 episodes for you people. <laughs> It's a lot. I mean, come on. We're like the only show that made it through the pandemic with the bajillion and shows that we did during the pandemic. That's right. We are yeah. the only ones that love you enough to spend one day a week uh, putting this together and then one <laughs> evening a week bringing it to you. Uh, so, but for our first scene, we are doing uh, from 2017's King Arthur Legend of the Sword. Have we heard of it? Mm. Yes. I feel like, I feel like Dennis has probably seen a bunch of these movies. That's just I feel a guess. like, well, it's a Guy Ritchie film, so there's going to be people who just saw it by default, but the yeah. subject matter is very un-Guy Ritchie. Yes. Oh, yeah. Dennis, you're the best. Okay, so the plot of this one, after the murder of his father, young Arthur, uh, played by Charlie Hunnam's uh, power-hungry uncle, whose name is Vortigern, Mm -hmm. That's how we're going to say it. And he's played by Jude Law, who seizes control of the crown. Oh, dun, dun, dun. Robbed of his birthright, he grows up the hard way in the back alleys of the city, not knowing who he truly is. But fate leads him to pull the Excalibur sword from the stone. Arthur embraces his true destiny and becomes the legendary fighter and leader. Why was this movie a flop, you might say? 
or might be asking yourself, well, this movie lost $153.2 million. I would like some of that, please. Uh, the film focused more on setting up like a cinematic universe for King Arthur. I guess they were hoping to have six total films uh, in this. They wanted it to be like the new Marvel nonsense thing. Uh, and um, uh, yeah, so anyways, the studio kept interfering a lot. Oh no, is my internet being terrible? The three... Um, so the studio interfered in a bunch of ways, uh, large changes to the film script messed with the story and the direction. One of the biggest ones was that they had a character of Guinevere, who's one of the most important women in the Arthurian legends. And she was for some way, for some reason, midway through s filming, uh, her character was renamed and like just changed entirely and not Guinevere. I don't know. So that's one of the weird things they did. Uh, and everything came together to the film's detriment, making it a forgettable experience that cost the studio hundreds of millions of dollars. But apparently uh, Tina's husband loves it. So that's cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> got one fan. In okay. our scene, Arthur and his buddies are being interrogated. Let me find Charlie. <laughs> my favorite part of these scenes. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, Dennis it. Yeah, I knew it. I knew Dennis would see these. <laughs> oh, whoa. What a look. I love it. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. Action. You've got some heat on you, Arthur. Your name keeps coming up. In what circles? My mom's lopping circles. Stupid. What <laughs> circles do you think? Tell me a story about a girl called Lucy and a Viking called Greybeard. Tell me every detail. We had a soapy word with a couple of Vikings. I said from the beginning, the very beginning. I woke up. Then what? Then I peed a whole bunch. I went downstairs. I saw the girls. Lucy was missing. She's a good girl, a nice girl. She works at Kmart. Then? Then, me and the lads took care of a bit of business. A bit of mowing the lawn. Then? Then we heard George had trouble last night. Which George? King George, Glittering George, George the Unicorn? Be clear, Arthur, which George? Our George, shampooing George. Hold up, hold up, back up. You sure you didn't see someone else before you saw George? Oh, we saw <coughs> Jimothy. Jimothy the Wilting? Kosher Jimothy? Which Jimothy? <laughs> You're giving me a headache. Flat hair Jimothy. He was trafficking puppies in our vicinity without paying a commission. Where'd you put the money? You're all over the place. I'm trying to tell a story here and you keep interrupting. Once you've taken your share and I've looked after my fancy house plans, I'm left broke. Jimothy and the objects, did he pay? Of course he paid, he's a good boy, that Jimothy. Should we go back to George and the trouble with the Vikings? They hurt Lucy, that can't happen, Jack. They've been warned, they had to pay. How did you get money from a Viking? You were without fighting cat named Ruby Sue. You just walk in there and ask them for it? That's right, Jack, they, they gave it to me. They were playing with the puppies. The same puppies, as it happens, that flathead Jimothy tried to hide from us. If you were un unarmed, where'd you find the fighting cat named Ruby Sue to put to Greybeard's throat. Well, I borrowed it from big silly doo-doo head after we put an arrow through his lard loving left hip. That's your story, Jack. And scene, bravo. <laughs> Excellent, done. <laughs> oh, I love the, the dryer tubing that Charlie was wearing around his neck. <laughs> the reason I didn't throw it out. <laughs> Stacy, as soon as you came 
on screen, I like shit myself because I was like, oh God, I need a beard for the next scene and I don't have one. Uh -oh. <laughs> Quick mock-up coming at you. Charlie Heenan was one of those hot TV guys that they tried to make a movie star, but it didn't work. Mm -hmm. He's actually, he's really good in another Guy Ritchie film called The Gentleman, uh, which now the Netflix series is based on. But um, in the movie, he's actually really good. Oh. Allegedly. Mm. Mm. He was supposed to be Christian Grey, but then his girlfriend didn't want him to do it, which was probably a good idea because those probably movies... Fair. Or bad. Not that I saw them. Mm hmm. I did yeah, not. Yeah, where were their agents? <laughs> Read that one and be like, uh, no. Beard, 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 beard. beard, beard. For, us for the first time and you want to type your words in, uh, what you do is you type adjective and then you type shiny. And then we know that shiny is your suggestion for an adjective. And we can uh, use that in our scene because Dana can search them. It's part of her magic. Oh, Beck is asking, is that gamish or garnish? I think that's garnish. <laughs> garnish. Yes, a garnish. But it, the letters are sure blurred together. But if you have a gamish that you'd like to suggest, I'd like to hear Ooh, what that is. <laughs> I would too. I am not a fan of fonts where the capital I's look like lowercase l's. I want mm. my capital I is to have the little like top and bottom part to it because it's oh, the hat and shoes for the children. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hat and boots and boots and hats. Boots and hats. Boots and hats. That's how we like our eyes around here. Boots and hats. Huh? Okay, let's go. Somebody so already banging. In the comedy spot, man. Vanilla yeah. bean custard. That yeah, there's a work, works hard. There's, there was a meeting today with a lot of tables and chairs pulled out, so they have to put all the tables uh -huh. away. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Garnish a large leaf. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> kind of leaf, like a maple leaf. Ooh. Not. We're not saying. Like a palm leaf? Like, well, I need to know the leaf. I need the context. I need this. <laughs> I'm only just now putting together that the maple leaf that is popular in Canada is from the trees that get syrup. And why did I not put that together sooner? It's fine. Really? Okay. <laughs> I'm Thank you for picking that out, out loud, though. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> I'm smart. I promise. Um, Attribute, attribute halitosis. Ooh, sticky breath. <clears throat> Way to say mess, a junkyard. Look at this junkyard of a room. Clean it up right now. Yeah, that works. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Way to say friend, bestie boo. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Way to say friend, old buddy, old pal. Oh, money on pile, my busty boo. Look at you, messy boo. Way to say mess, hoarder pile. <laughs> I watched a YouTube video last night about the Winnie the Pooh horror film, and it looks horrible. There's a sequel yeah. coming. Ugh. Oh, yeah, you didn't hear that? Because Winnie what the Pooh is now in the public domain, they made a horrible slasher Violent, it looks terrible. Yeah. Active. What about Hoarder Pile made you think of Winnie the Pooh horror movie? Yeah. No, it was the buddy, old buddy, old pal part, not the oh. Hoarder Pile. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Way to say mess, hot mess express. That's a fat, that's a really fast mess. Ooh, hot mess express. Negative what? adjective, slimy. Is that negative? That could be positive. You so slimy, girl. Slugs <laughs> need their slime. Adjective stoned. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like this. Oh, these are some great garnishes. We got candy bacon. We got a tiny Ooh. weird pickle. <laughs> tiny <bacon. laughs> Beautiful. I need just one more adjective and then we're ready to roll. Rock and roll. 
adjective. <laughs> Gamish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A gamish garnish, perhaps. Um, well, uh, let's do our next. So, oh, when is the? Oh yeah, yeah. Dennis was talking about the movie. Okay, good. Did you get? Uh, let's our scene. Our next scene is from 2023's The Flash. Yeah, yeah, Becky. He's not here. <laughs> he's he's. You, I'm surprised you didn't notice his lack of uh, rambling about things. I'm sure this would have taken 10 times as long if he was here, but he's the best. Um, anyways, our next scene is from 2023's The Flash. The plot of this, when worlds collide, when The Flash, played by Ezra Miller, uses his superpowers to travel back in time to change the events of the past. However, when his attempt to save his family inadvertently alters the future, he becomes trapped in a reality in which General Zod has returned, threatening annihilation. With no other superheroes to turn to, The Flash looks to coax a very different Batman, played by Michael Keaton for the most part, out of retirement and rescue an imprisoned uh, Kryptonian, albeit not the one he's looking for. What does that mean? I don't know. Also, Ooh. this scene is a lot less insane than every other scene I watched of this movie. I was like, what is happening? Um, anyways, why was this movie a flop? Uh, this lost $200 million. Uh, Warner, Warner Bros. actually shelved a Batgirl movie as a tax write-off, but they decided to keep the flash uh, as they thought it would be a bigger box office earner. But now everyone is wondering if they would have lost less money if they had kept Batgirl and released The Flash because Batgirl had like a way lower budget than this had. Uh, in our scene, the Berries uh, discuss the multiverse with a very disheveled and older version of Batman. Let me put on my hair real quick for us. Whoa, I am Ezra Miller. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the same person as him but from an alternate timeline yes in which you and i are bestie boos yeah you're like probably my best bestie boo okay but well you're a bit you're you're uh you're uh you're chronologically different you're you're actually halitosis Yeah, yeah, and that's what I can't understand. I traveled back in time from here to here, but somehow everything back here is changed or like when you were born. So, well, I mean, time isn't stoned, right? Uh, right. Yeah. Well, at some point, you probably saw a movie that told you that if you went back and changed the past, you'd create a kind of branch timeline, right? Like, here, look. Okay. We got a uh, new present and new future. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, time doesn't work like that. Okay. When you go back and change the past, new and past, when you go back and change the past, you create a fulcrum. Okay. You put yourself on a whole nother strand of vanilla bean custard. Okay. New future, new past. Okay. It's, it's all garnish. It goes both ways. Now, what you did was you changed the future and you changed the past. Now, if a person is as slimy enough to mess with time, what you eventually end up with is this, okay? Just the multiverse. There will be inevitable intersections and others that are just wildly divergent. I got a big bowl of spaghetti. So what it is, is it's a hot mess express, okay? It's a, it's a hoarder pile. It's all just a hoarder pile. But what does the tiny word pickle mean? And the metaphor, the metaphor is, over. is over. Yeah, it's, that's my line, but it's just a garnish. <laughs> what he said. I love your beard. <laughs> yes, great beard. Oh, true. Nailed it. Yeah, no, every other scene I saw of this was just the Barry Allens being like so high strung in a way that I was just like, I can't. How do people watch a whole movie of this? Like, no, 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 no. Yeah. Have you seen this one yet? How many of these movies have you seen, Dennis? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I'm getting mad at you, Dennis, but I guess because Marco's not here, I feel like someone needs to. I have yeah, seen zero in completion. Yeah, I've I... seen none of these. Ooh. 
And I thought I had bad taste in movies. Ha ha, I don't. Well, maybe they were, I mean, a lot of times they are uh, flops for reasons other than their quality. I can't confirm or deny, but sometimes they're just like really, really shit marketing and really, really like, I don't know. Timing marketing. Yeah, but that, that last scene with Michael Keaton, I was like, oh, this looks actually interesting. Yeah. Maybe I'll watch it. And, no, I'm not going to, but it did. It looked interesting. I love a multiverse. I need to send you some more of the clips that I watched because they are wild. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like I'm tired of the same old, like, super. I don't watch any more superhero movies because I'm tired of the same old reused superhero plot lines and it gets more convoluted and more multiversed and more blah, blah, blah. And I'm over it. The you gotta go in with low expectations, kids. Mm -hmm. Hey, they're fine. They're fun. They're more personal. I will say, and I'm not a like mega comic book person, but I do very much love the MCU, and I, it's just it's a wonderful thing. And I read and study all the things on it. But um, DCs just aren't as good. The Batman's, the mm -hmm. fun, like all those, the Aquaman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like, like the the movie like, loop multiverse. Who we all are in different timelines. Yes. Mm. That's what I'd like yes. to see. Yes. How we interact. Yes. Beautiful thing. <laughs> All right. What are we getting, Dana? I'd like to see a multiverse timeline where I'm not single. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Weapon. Paper Ninja Star. Mm. That's me throwing my Ninja Stars. Oh, wow. Star, star, star. Um, oh, Dennis says he has seen them all. Okay, I knew Dennis. it. I know um, it. Way to fight. <laughs> Screaming, I am runner, you are glue. Oh, this probably has to say rubber. Whatever you say bounces off me. Oh, I like, I am runner, you are glue. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is that from? Uh, way to fight? A way to way fight. To oh, there it is. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Charlie, Charlie will be confused. I can't put it in there. He won't know what to read. Way to say you work alone. I'm a solo pigeon. <laughs> Are pigeons like group animals all the time? I'm putting oh. I'm putting in way to say you work a alone. I am runner. You are glue. So just because I like it. <laughs> but oh, yeah. I do like solo pigeon as well. Loving nicknames. That Sweetums. Okay. Oh. I'm going to say, way to say dead is you're a solo pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, emotion, crabby. That's not an emotion, Beck. I'll, I'll hold it down for Marco. You allow it. There are many, a myriad of emotions, and they're all valid. And no, nope. have not that. Yeah. Weapon, lightsaber. Ooh. Um, Way to say newbie, fresh mint. I think that's supposed to be fresh meat, but okay. No, fresh mint. <laughs> He's a fresh oh. mint. Location, location, a therapist's office. <laughs> We're all, none of us could type read today, and I love it. Right. Way to say dead, stiff as a board. Um, or a solo pigeon. <laughs> way to fight, a dance off. Ooh, love that. Love a good dance off. I think I just need a silly way to kill someone. Silly way to kill someone. Somebody just know? <laughs> um, salami to the eye. Ooh. I can't believe we're already on scene number three. It's because yep. Marco's not here. Yep. Marco's not here. We fly. We're so focused. That, here, look. That one time on Star Trek. There we go. Yeah, what happened? What happened? How do you feel about whales, Dana? Oh, whales and Spock and they mind meld. Live long and prosper, y'all. Tell me some things about your shed. <laughs> My shed is not a murder shed. It's full of old timey bands that I listen to. That were all made before Dana was born. Oh, boy. All right, let's dive into the scene I've never even heard of. What is this? This movie is 2013's R.I.P.D. 
veteran lawman Roy, played by Jeff Bridges, works for the RIPD, a legendary police force charged with finding monstrous spirits who are disguised as ordinary people, but are trying to avoid their final judgment by hiding out among the living. Yeah. Uh, when Roy and his new partner, Nick Walker, played by Ryan Reynolds, uncover a plot that could end all life, they must discover a way to restore the cosmic balance or else watch the tunnel to the afterlife start sending angry souls back into the world of the living. Dun, dun, dun. Probably shouldn't let that happen. Why was this movie a flop, a flop besides this bonkers plot? Uh, it lost an estimated $116 million. Uh, and if you asked anybody to name a box office flop that starred Ryan Reynolds, they'd probably tell you about Green Lantern. And they wouldn't be wrong, but the 2011 Green Lantern was not the only disaster the actor starred in before redeeming himself in Deadpool. Uh, the sci-fi movie has quite a few twists and turns, but it failed to win the hearts of any audiences. And in our scene, Nick is being introduced to his new partner in the afterworld. Yes. Old Teddy Van Shed. Yes, it is. Marco has. It's delightful, but we call it a murder shed. <laughs> Hi, Alicia. I know. Thank you for joining. We appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to find Charlie and then I'm going to clicky clack this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, click. Hey! Charlie, you're up. Marco's not here. We need a dude. I can't play all the men tonight, Charlie. <laughs> Mr. Dennis could probably correct me if I'm wrong, but this is actually based on a graphic novel, I think, which is why a lot of people aren't familiar Sounds with it. Why it's crazy. Oh, there we go. Yeah, my hair's falling. Fix that. Excellent wig work, Tina. Very Thanks, good. man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, we could talk about the shows. Tina, what's happening this week? Sure, <laughs> let's do that. You're a bug in my face. Um, hi, uh, this week, We've got Tuesday night, open mic night for stand-up. Starts at 8 o'clock. If you would like to um, try to get on the list to perform, you need to be out front at 7.30. You've got one hour from right now to get there. Um, tomorrow night is Helix Night, which is our performers that have taken all our classes and auditioned to be on this show, which is like continuing education of sorts. Um, we have four teams, three of which perform each week for you. That also starts at 8 o'clock. Uh, we have an Improv Games grad show at 7 o'clock on Thursday. Friday, we have a, a good night. We have 7.30, a show called Unscripted Melodies, which is a musical improv-based show. And at 9 p.m., it's the second round of Capital Punishment, who has um, graciously come to our theater when they lost their old home. And that one will sell out, undoubtedly. So uh, you can watch it online if you'd like as well. Um, Saturday, we have Improv 101 grad show at 6. We have Shortcuts. Me and Charles will be in that at 7.30. Mm -hmm. Uh, nine o'clock is anti-cooperation league and Karine, that's your grad show, correct? It's six. Yes. My little yes. baby Stacy performing. I'll be Ooh, in, Stacey is in the show. class. That's right. So you can see Stacy and Kareen and me mm -hmm. and Charles all on Saturday night. ACL Kareen, I'm assuming you're in that as well. Sticking around, making a whole lumpy night of the thing. Somebody's babysitting the kids this weekend. <laughs> adorable a um, couple other quickie announcements one if you missed weird strange bizarre you can still go to the website um, satcomedyspot.com slash WSB we are offering the live stream link for half price so 10 bucks for 19 shows that will be on sale through this Friday and uh, you can watch it at any time after that but that's the last chance you'll have to buy that um, also we have a new uh, discord fan server so if you are a discord person um, you can join us on there for a bunch of stuff and some chit chat with some other fans um, Oh, uh, we're going on hiatus um, for most of the month of March. Which we're going to be off mm -hmm. for four weeks, and that's going to be leading up to Big Day of Giving, which is on May 2nd, one month from today. Um, but Movie Libs are planning to do something fun um, somewhere in between there. So that's it. Is Charles around? Charles? We're right here. Yeah. Yes. That's not time. And okay. <laughs> Let me get back to my scene. It's a lot to take in on your first day as a solo pigeon. But don't worry, your partner will explain it all to you. Oh, oh, come on, Roy, you, you took, you salami that guy in the eye. What? He was going for the, he's going for the, uh, 
therapist's office. I'll plant a paper ninja star on him if you want. It makes you feel any better. Would you like to take this up with eternal affairs? Affairs. Affairs. We both know what this is about, don't we, sweetums? Not the time, Roy. Why not have it out now? I'm Krabby. Roy, meet your new partner, Nick Walker. Oh, we've been over this before. Hmm. I'm a runner and you are glue. <laughs> it's not a choice, Roy. No, <laughs> you gotta earn that. Come on, fresh mitt. Grab your huevos. And scene. BT <laughs> All that Wait. beard work for no oh, line. No, did you get a line in? No, no lines. Your beard is better than my mustache, though. <laughs> oh, shit. That scene sucked. That movie must be terrible. Yeah. <laughs> the CGI in like it. Fifteen minutes. Oh, I wonder. I wonder if it's like they're they were working on a script for like uh, what's that other alien cop movie? Men in Black uh -huh. 2. Men in Black. Black, yeah. I think they're just like, okay, we need to do something like Men in Black. Aliens and law enforcement is a hot pairing right now. Jeff Bridges <laughs> could play Tommy Lee Jones, no problem. Oh, for sure. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Josh Brolin played Tommy Lee Jones in the third Men in Black movie. So, you know, they're very yep. similar. Uh, yeah, that is why the CGI is so bad in that scene, too. Like, the monster looks just terrible. It what just year was it again? 2017? Is that right? Let me check. See. That one was 2013. Oh, awful. I mean, we're talking 11 years worth of technological advancements in the awful. field of computer generated yeah. images. I mean, they're really from the 80s that look better than some of the CGI that you get. Yeah. Know. Freaking Toy Story looks better than that movie, and Toy Story is. <laughs> ancient by now. <laughs> Toy Story showing a little bit of wear. We need to pull it back up. Oh, but the story was good. Like, so. like the Incredibles or Monsters, Inc. Like those are freaking old and they look yeah. great. It's like the worst tie I've ever tied in my life also. <laughs> she says uh, she's tied ties in her life. I have, I have tied ties in my life. <laughs> oh, man. I asked you to put Stacy sideways in the next scene. I didn't think about it till right now. <laughs> I don't know. Don't worry about it. Uh, anyways, how's everybody doing? Thanks to everybody who's watching the show. It's nice to have y'all here with us. I appreciate you. <laughs> Ready for Got some words? Some. Might as well, I guess. Building Devon Tower. Ooh. What's that? Devon Tower. Sounds nice. I don't know what it is, but it sounds nice. Fake pirate's name, <laughs> One Tooth. Mm, one Tooth. Good old One Tooth. Action. Skipping. Mm. Um, insult nickname, Bitch Face. <laughs> <laughs> it's more bitches to you. <laughs> Oh, Lisa gets it. Reason you might be grumpy. Haven't had my coffee yet. Yeah. Facts. Mm -hmm. Um, action spazzing your bangs. Spazzing? Oh. I've never heard of that. What's spazzing your bangs? How does one spazz their bangs? Yeah. Mean thing to do to someone, take their parking spot. Oh. <laughs> Wait, why does that parking spot belong to you? I'm going to be Marco now for a minute. Why because is you're your clearly spot? in a position yeah. to be heading that way. And you're like, the on. Back away. Yeah. And then you have to decide if you're going to fight somebody today or just let it go. <laughs> Where in our California driving uh, laws does it say a blinker indicates it's your parking space? No you're a parking spot stealer, aren't you? The law of <gasps> Mean oh. thing to do to someone, date their mom. 
I bet you're taking the shopping cart away. Actually, oh, I put my shopping cart away. I'm not an animal. <laughs> Actually, my mom is available. So if anyone would, is in their 60s and would like to date my things. mom. Dana's new stepdad taking applications. Mm -hmm. Beck says if you're that spaz bangs belong, or bangs, 80s bangs that look like a wave. Oh, so you're talking like these. I had a friend whose bangs were literally like this in school. Um, Valuable oh. object, a diamond ring. They stuck up straight. It was impressive. It's a lot of hairspray. A mean a thing, a glitter bomb. Oh yeah, those are super mean. Yeah. Those things will ruin your life for 10 years. Like you'll still find glitter on a glitter bomb. It's evil. Profession <laughs> wedding planner. Mm. Anytime someone steals your parking spot, just go ahead and put a glitter bomb in their car. Glitter bomb. Um, a valuable object, a cyber truck. We saw one drive down the road the, on Saturday. It was horrible. I think I saw one looking. too recently for the first time. It's like they're making a it, was, it looked just as dumb as you would think it would. Mm -hmm. I thought they were bigger. Mm -hmm. It seemed smaller than I thought they were going to be. Oh, no. The one I saw was like, that's gigantic. What is this? Why? Um, yeah. It's the new douche mo bag, Bill. Oh, man. Just put some uh, hitch balls on it, and then, it's, then it would be perfect. <laughs> Those are the worst. Uh, I need one more building, and then I'm good to go. A building. We have Tower Cafe. Oh, that's nice. excellent. The brunches. Devon Tower and the Tower Cafe. Yes. Delicious brunch. So many towers. Okay, let's do this thing. All righty. Our next scene is from a movie that I know for a fact Marco has seen, but doesn't get to do with us because he left us. Uh, it is 1995's Cutthroat Island. The plot of this might be Morgan Adams, played by Gina Davis, who 1000% does not scream pirate to anyone. Uh, <laughs> late buccaneer father's galleon and one third of a map to buried treasure located on cutthroat island the map had been tattooed on her father's scalp uh so to find the treasure she must locate and scalp his two brothers so she's going around scalping dudes for their maps uh but morgan swashbuckling uncle dog brown mm -hmm, wants the treasure for himself and does battle with his headstrong niece and her unwilling accomplice, a Latin speaking physician named William Shaw. Those are words that make sense. Maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah. The, Gina Davis could never scalp someone ever. Never. I can't. It just doesn't. Why was this movie a flaw? You ask. Uh, so it lost $147 million when adjusted for inflation. Cause this is the oldest movie on our list. So there's a ton of money for back then. Uh, the production of the picture was infamously turbulent with recasts, rewrites, and shooting delays, all contributing to a bloated budget that doomed the fate of this flick. Its production company, uh, Carlico Pictures, went on to file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy a month before its release and went on to become one of the most notorious box office bombs in cinema history. Cutthroat Island's failure caused pirate-themed films to lose their bankability until the success of 2003's Pirates of the Caribbean. In our scene, William is retrieving a bullet from Morgan's abdomen in one of the least uh, sterile uh, surgeries that I've ever seen uh, while they discuss the treasure map. So, yeah, uh, let me get the clack us into that. Let's do it. Oh, I <laughs> Ouch! Clumsy bitch face! Sorry. Oh, there we go. I was supposed to torture you! Ouch! Sorry. Do you see it yet? I'm close. Another minute. Uh, so your father and uh, two wedding planners, they each had pieces of the map? Uh, the treasure of cyber trucks uh, that it leads to those. Uh, uh, it's large, I take it. This cyber truck treasure, largest ever taken. Spanish gold, cyber truck ships. Ow! Sorry, 
Uh, and and a third wedding planner. He chases you an unusual family. Ha ha ha! Success. Got oh. It. I've uh, I I I I've taken your parking spot, haven't I? Well, you haven't had your coffee yet. And you did help me at the Devon Tower. And the Tower Cafe. Lots of towers. Yeah. Let's let's say between us, just for just for argument's sake, mm -hmm. that you have one tooth smack but I don't. No, no, I know that. But pretend that you do. I was willing to go halves with you with one tooths. And I will do the same you and yours. You're saying that if I show you mine, you'll share yours with me? Give me the map. Give me some skipping first. <laughs> map now you see the thing is i don't have it but that doesn't mean we can't keep skipping about it and scene <laughs> i love uh my uh my pirate look is the hillary clinton yes <laughs> <laughs> you do have very like uptight karen mom <laughs> Hair with that wig. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, I um, boop, boop. What's his butt? What's his butt? Sorry, Dennis. Uh, Dennis mentioned <laughs> that um, uh, Gina Davis's husband was the director. Did we talk about this while I stepped away for a second? Oh, no. no I did not. Yeah. I do remember that. So that's why she agreed to do it. Uh, that's why she was cast because she don't not like a pirate. <laughs> I'm curious to know Marco's thoughts on the movie because I think he likes it. Rennie yeah. Harlan, they uh, divorced the next year. It looks like. Oh, oh good. The movie. Coincidence? I don't think so. Now we know <laughs> why. And yes, no. I was drinking Listerine because I didn't feel like running downstairs to get an actual alcohol bottle. What are you? Believe it or not. Oh, peaches! Peaches, 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 peaches. Millions of peaches. What do you peaches. mean? You wanted to be on the show? What did you look at, peaches? Looking out the window. Go look. Go look. Go look. Investigate. Don't start barking while we're doing the show, though, please. You know, peaches. <laughs> How's the neighbor, Kareen? Oh, oh, God. She hasn't called CPS on us or anything, so yes. that's it. <laughs> we uh, still have to fix our fence. We'll figure that out eventually. I don't know. Okay, nice, oh. nice. Hey, what did I say about the barking? Ma'am. <laughs> She's fine. Yeah. Thank you. What do you mean you're loud? Loud. What do you mean that? Don't be loud. Get out of my eye line, Are you barking at those joggers? <laughs> Stop exercising. We're doing movie libs. You <laughs> <laughs> should only run if well, somebody's we chasing you. Not for fun. Yeah. No, I know. I remember distinctly one time when Charlie was like on an international trip and I remembered I had to take the uh, garbages out because he always does that for us. And then I like, I was like, I was ready for bed. I'm in my pajamas. I'm like going out. It's like 8 p.m. And then there's just like a bunch of people jogging. And I'm like, how dare you? Like go to sleep, everyone. What are you doing? <sighs> That's funny. Well, what are we getting, Dana? I'm being choked already by my costume. This is a bad choice. Um, state, Florida. Well, Florida. I believe, that, I believe that's pronounced Florida. <laughs> Object, a toilet plunger. Ooh, yuck. Mm. Body part, scalp. Mm, mm hmm the good old scalp. Mm hmm Here's another body part, your ear hole. Ear hole. It sounds dirty when you say it that way. It does. I'm all, should I touch my ear hole on camera? You just wear your ear hole. Show the people your ear hole. <laughs> Action, say, oh, puppy. 
Because <laughs> that's what we did. Um, insult name, a snot mouth. Yeah, ew, in the mouth? Why, Dennis? <laughs> Mo mode of transportation, your feet. No, right. no jogging back. Get in the car. <laughs> Fake planet name, your butthole. Five object Pokemon cards. Wow, yes, 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 yes. Um, fake name for aliens, Fudge Giggles. Mm. I love when we ask you guys to just make, make up words those are some of my favorites that you all come up with <laughs> fake planet named cliboria who was fiddle fork do we remember uh it was hillary it's funny um you shall action. live on with the comedy spot forever cooking 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 fake planet name squeeze <laughs> from, from the planet of squeeze Oh, Dennis right. says, oh my God, is Flo Rida actually Florida? I'm like, Dana and the Maple Leaf Revelation. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It is. We're all learning. Yes. I need one more fake planet and then we're ready to do this thing. Flo Ida oh. 6. <laughs> yes. I love it. It's so clever, Lisa. Oh. Okay, we got it now. Wow, guys, we saved a whole 10 minutes without Marco being here. <laughs> I feel like we were dragging some out, too. Yeah, so, just, uh, we had some lulls. Okay, let's do our last seat of the night. This is 2012's John Carter. Uh, the plot of this, when Civil War veteran John Carter mysteriously awakes on the surface of Mars called a uh, bar stoom, he little expects the adventure that awaits him. Carter reluctantly becomes embroiled in an epic conflict among the red planet's inhabitants, including Tar, Tar, yep, mm -hmm, played by William Defoe, and uh, Princess Deja. Uh, as bar is poisoned, poised on the brink of collapse, war weary Carter rediscovers something after I put my wig on. Uh, rediscovers his humanity when he realizes that everyone's fate is in his hands. Why was this movie a flop? Well, it lost an estimated $200 million <laughs> with an estimated budget of nearly $350 million spent just to make this. Uh, Disney's 2012 sci-fi action flick John Carter had to seriously deliver at the box office to make up for the fact that it was one of the most expensive movies ever made. Sadly, the thrilling intergalactic adventures of the titular army captain just couldn't fill the seats needed to recoup its astronomical total costs. Its profound failure is widely considered to be the result of the terrible promotion. It has been declared one of the worst marketing campaigns in movie history. History. The fallout of the big screen, street, the big screen extravaganza as massive failure led to Walt Disney Studios head Rich Ross resigning and the outright cancellation of two future installments. Despite a seemingly tarnished legacy, John Carter has been retrospectively assessed and deemed to be far better than its reputation reflects. I don't know if I can agree with that based on the scene, but we'll see what you all think. Uh, in our scene, John and Princess Deja are piecing together what planet they are on and why they are different. So let's do this thing. Oh, clicky clack. <laughs> Action. Oh, I forgot my five o'clock shadow, damn it. <sighs> Pretend. Yes. War is a shameful thing. Not when a noble cause is taken up by those who can make a difference. You made a difference today, Florida. Okay, see, my name is John Carter. Florida is where I'm from. Where did you learn to say, ah, oh, puppy, that way? I don't know. How did you learn to fly? Your feet cannot sail on light in Florida? No, Professor. See, our ships sail the seas. Endless water everywhere. Your skeletal structure is normal. 
What are you doing? Must be the density of your scalp. Say, ah, puppy for me. There will be time for playfulness later. I, I want no playfulness from you. Explain to me how you say, ah, puppy. Name your price. I am not for hire. I've got a cave full of Pokemon cards of my own somewhere. Only a snot mouth would rave about the time of oceans. Is that your expert view that I'm a snot mouth? Or a liar. There are no seas on the planet. You said planet. Yes, we have the sun and then squeeze. We call that Mercury. Then there's Caliboria. Venus, then Earth, which is us. <laughs> That's Florida six. And you are on your butthole, John Carter. <laughs> Mars, I'm on Mars. Good God, I'm on Mars. So now your home is Floida 6, and you came here to your butthole uh, by sailing on one of the ships across millions of curads of empty space? No, not like that. Go on, shock me. How then? That toilet plunger brought me here. <laughs> oh. Well, that explains everything then. It does? Yes, you're a fudge gickle. <laughs> and you simply wish to return to your rightful place. And scene, you dirty fudge gickles. Dirty fudge <laughs> Oh my God. So fun, everybody. Uh, these scenes were great. Uh, let me know if you've seen any of these movies. Uh, Genesis uh, all five. All five. Yeah, five for five, Dennis. I knew it. Knew it. Um, but yeah, we're going to be gone for four weeks because uh, double booking, it's not our choice. We love y'all. We'd be here if we could. Um, but we're going to figure out something to do for Big Day of Giving. So keep a looky outsies for us posting about <laughs> whatever we put together for that. It's going to be really fun. Uh, maybe watching a movie at my house and playing some Truth or Dare. We will see. Uh, but yeah, until we meet again, stay sexy, you dirty fiddle forkers. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, we love y'all. Bye. Bye. Bye.